Welcome, everybody. I'm Keith, Christian Warrior Training. I just want to let you know that I'm going to Jack Hibbs' church, Cavalry Chapel down in Chino Hills, California. Uh, he's a pretty popular guy. Uh, I'm going to be speaking at a church security conference. Uh, they tell me I'm going to be the keynote speaker, which uh, I've done before, but not in the church realm. I just want to let you know that I'm going to be there on Saturday, this coming Saturday, and I'll be speaking for about four hours. And right now there's a couple hundred people already signed up for it. I just want to tell you some of the things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, if you're in the area, I really suggest that you go. You can sign up. I'll put the link down in the uh, description below. But you got to sign up, get verified, all that kind of stuff, because it is a security conference. So I know they're they're up on security. I am going to try and get a copy of whatever they film so that I can play it for all my subscribers over at ChristianWarriorTraining.com. If you go over there, that's kind of where I put some stuff, a lot of the stuff up at. I'll be able to put some stuff on YouTube, but it's going to be redacted because of YouTube policies. Some of that stuff is not going to be able to be viewable, but I will put an unredacted version over on my Substack, ChristianWarriorTraining.com. Now, look, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview of all the security trends and threats, both nationally and locally. So I'm going to talk about all the things that I've been talking about here, but I'm going to take a little bit more time. And the biggest thing is I'm a little freer to speak because I'm not held back by YouTube policies. Plus, I'm at Jack Hibbs' church, uh, so I don't have to worry about any uh, flashback. I can speak the truth and tell you what is really going on and what we need to be concerned about. Uh, we're going to talk about how to establish an intelligence position in your church. And I know it sounds weird that a church has an intelligence position, but it's not like you have a CIA person in your church. I'm more going to talk about how when you have a threat actor that is fixated on your church, which a lot of churches and the bigger church you are, even small ones have this issue. You'll have problem people that will fixate on your church and usually they're mentally ill, drug addicted, or, you know, they're one of those, uh, pro Middle Eastern groups that hate Christians and, and Jews right now. Uh, we're going to teach you how to train somebody up and to monitor those people, those groups, and those threats. So that way you can protect your church and hopefully find out something before it happens, right? Uh, we're going to talk about the current threat landscape to U.S. churches. Uh, what are what are the threats going on right now? How you can protect your church? What you can do? Because remember, the biggest thing here, and I, I've, I've I worry about it because it's seen by so many people. I mean, we have, we're almost at 100,000 people following this right now and 25,000 on the newsletter. I don't want you to lock your church down. And so we're going to talk about how you can keep your church open and free and welcoming while at the same time just being cognizant and using situational awareness and using uh, crime prevention through environmental design, looking at environmental design of your church to make it look welcoming, but still being able to protect everybody within. We're going to talk about how to communicate securely. Why? Oh, man, the government's coming after people. I've just asked the Catholics right now. And it's super important for you to be able to talk clearly with your group and not worry about the government or some other group intercepting your communications. I also am going to talk about a new tool. Uh, that uh, It's a new radio application that can give you 256-bit encryption on your radios for a very, very, very cheap price. We're talking like churches that have less than 200 people, churches that have less than 100 people, teams that only have two people on it. It's totally affordable. We're talking like $20 per person for a year. Um, it's fairly reasonable. Uh, I am going to do a video on that later here, but uh, I am going to talk more about it in the class coming up Saturday at Jack Hibbs's Church, Cavalry Chapel in Chino Hills. We're going to talk about how you as a group can plan for future collaborative initiatives, like how you guys are all going to communicate together and how you're all going to get together and exchange information and how you're going to take that information to protect everybody and do mutual aid. Like as an example, there is a church in my area that ministers uh, to Persian and Arabic speaking people or Farsi and Arabic speaking people. They do missions to convert people to Christianity in Iran. Uh, they do a wonderful job, but it is a sin for some or some believe it's a sin to preach the gospel in Farsi or Arabic. And so they do have big events. We can provide mutual aid for them. You know, my church has 80 security team members. Uh, you know, we have so many churches in our security group. When they have an event, 
It's like, no problem. We can send them and fill them with people so they can have that open, welcoming church, but you have an enormous amount of people that can come help you. So we're going to talk about how you set that up and the mechanics of it and how all of that works. We're going to review a couple active shooter incidents, and I'm going to use those active shooter incidents, and they're ones that I cannot show on YouTube. We're going to take those and we're going to show how you can look at those incidents and make improvements in your own church so if it happens to you, you can stop it and take care of it right away. Lastly, we're going to talk about self-defense and how you can protect yourself uh, in a state like California, because we will be in California. And we're going to talk about how you can protect yourself in a gun-restricted state. You don't need a gun to protect your church. You just need good situational awareness and a plan. And so we're going to talk about how you can use that situational awareness to protect you and your church and protect yourself. And then we're also going to talk about how to protect yourself legally and how you're going to do that uh, overall. So look, I hope to see you guys there. If you can't make it, now I'm really impressed too. I've already got, I've, people have already told me they're flying in from out of state to watch this. And to be honest, I only do a couple of live appearances a year. Uh, it's for a variety of reasons. I've been pretty open about my health issues. That's that's one of the biggest reasons, to be honest. Uh, it, it's much easier to do things online here. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, so when I do these live events, I mean, I probably maybe two a year. And so it, Honestly, it made me feel pretty good knowing people are coming in from all over the place to come watch. So uh, I hope to see you there. Uh, we are going to have a question and answer period at the end. We have four hours, but something tells me it's going to go much longer. So I made my airplane reservation. I'm trying to stay as minimal amount of time in California as possible because, you know, it's California. <laughs> no offense to the Californians, but uh, I like the United States. So I'll be there for less than 24 hours. I'm going to fly in, fly out, and uh, come back to America. But I do want to spend, I'm not flying out till late, uh, late that night. And I do want to spend as much time as possible with everybody there. So uh, we will uh, praise the Lord for bringing us all together. We'll have a good time in worship and a good time in talking about keeping our churches open and secure. And then we have a great question and answer period where hopefully we can do all of this. It is free event. I don't charge. I don't want to because my whole mission with Christian Warrior it was, I know that I know that money is a barrier for people to get training, either because they don't have the money, they don't want to spend the money, the church can't afford it, because most, I mean, 80% of churches have less than uh, 200 people, probably less than 100 people in it. And so I know that money is a barrier. So I got to give it to Jack Hibbs' church in Chino Hills, Calvary Chapel. They're paying uh, for me to get down there, and they're paying my expenses, uh, and I'm just going to come up and talk to you guys. We'll make sure we we get you trained up. And the biggest thing is to equip you to now take that to your team and equip them. So we're going to use the free stuff that you can do at Christian Warrior, along with what we're going to teach you in this uh, seminar, so that you can go off to your people, train them up, take care of them. I want to thank Cavalry Chapel Chino Hills for inviting me. Their security director, I don't know if he wants me to publicly announce who he is, but his security director reached out and contacted me. I very much appreciate him. Uh, doing that. And I really appreciate him taking those bills and making everything for free so that you guys can get taken care of. If you want to support my mission and what I'm doing, because I am quitting law enforcement training, I am going to hang on to, I'm going to train a couple of times a year for one entity because I like them, but otherwise I'm cutting it all out. And it's because people like you have supported my mission over at ChristianWarriorTraining.com. If you do the monthly or yearly subscription, that has allowed me to fund everything that I do here. And it's allowed me to stop teaching and concentrate this. This is my full-time job with overtime. <laughs> and uh, nothing brings me more pleasure. And I appreciate all of you do that. But remember, everything will always be free. Only do it if you can, because I want to make sure we take care of you. All right, that's all I got for now. Just want to give you a heads up. I want to say Jack Hibbs Church in Calvary Chapel in Chino Hills as much as I can. So the algorithm picks it up and sends it out to all the people that follow him so they know what we're doing here. Do me a favor, share this video. Let everybody know that you know all the good Christians. Uh, I don't think the video will blow up, but I want you to share. And that's not what it's about. It's about you sharing that, getting the information out. It is next Saturday or this coming Saturday. Uh, let me get that date for you. August 24th of 2024 from 8 to noon, Calvary Chapel up in Chino Hills or down in Chino Hills, Riverside, California. Well, it's in Riverside County, California, but at Chino Hills. I hope to see you there. Be wonderful. And do me a favor. Come introduce yourself. 
and come say hi. I would love to meet you guys. Uh, if you're a bad man watching this, thinking you're going to do something, probably not the right place to do it because I'm thinking there's probably going to be about 300 guns there at the time, which is cool. So uh, we'll be well protected because we always practice our ABCs. We always be caring.